Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls. Um, as people very correctly pointed out in the comments of the previous two episodes, I had my face cam in the wrong place. Um, I was blocking the soul counter, which is not the most important thing, but you shouldn't block the soul counter. I don't even, I didn't even like put two and two together that it was there. Um, yeah, I, I'm an idiot. So yeah, the last episode we defeated the second boss of the game, the whatever demon, Tower Knight, Tower Demon, whatever. Um, so we're going to level up and it is time to leave the confines of Boletaria. God, I want to get a spell. Shit, you know what I didn't do? I did not fucking look up. Um, how much I think that's okay I think that's okay like what the stats are for demon brand so here's what we're going to do you're going to see a, s a little bit of a cut here and I'm gonna be back with knowledge Okay, we're back. Um, the only thing that sucks is that it needs faith. Oh, shit. And I just bumped up my intelligence. I wonder if this guy will talk to me now. Yeah. Gotta read a few books, and that's it. This guy is, again, the biggest asshole of this game. So, there's that. This wasn't a thing, right? Enchant weapon. It needs 20 intelligence though. That is intelligence, right? Hold on. Yeah, it does, I think. Damn. See, I don't really know what to go for now. The fact that Demon Brad said I should have looked it up before. Uh, the fact that Demon Brand needs uh, faith is kind of a bummer. I guess we're going for like an Artorias build here. Anyways, we have a long time to go until then. We have plenty of levels, plenty of bosses, plenty of souls. You can farm a lot in this game. Uh, there's a lot of ways to farm, so it ain't even a problem. Let's go to Stonefang. I've seen Stonefang uh, in like gameplay footage. Man, it looks so much better. Like, I really am honestly not a fan of this area in the original game. I think out of look-wise, or like general aesthetic-wise, this is probably the least favorite for me of all the Demon Souls areas. Or used to be, at least. But look at this shit, man. You can actually tell what the fuck is going on. And that's kind of amazing. It's like a little, a little city in the background and it's like actual cliffs. And I like this lighting so much better than that like weird orange hue. It almost looks like there's a eclipse going on. And we have this homeless asshole here. Man, he looks even more homeless than he ever did. I like it, like homeless Jesus. It doesn't sell anything good though. This shit, this shit is so good. I'm so happy man because again there's a couple of areas that because of how they used to look it was kind of a slog to get through. And that ain't the case anymore. So yeah let's go ahead and you know, all of this is turned off. We should be going, like, not going, doing okay here, because if I remember correctly, these guys are weak to- Oh, these guys are not weak to slash, are they? They're weak to, like, club weapons. And this bastard sword really should be dealing a little bit more damage, bruh. Although this is the upgrade material city of the game, so... 
There's a lot of barking going on, and that is not actually my dog, for a change. So yeah, you have these assholes. They kind of move around like walking dead rejects. So you should be okay here. I mean, the walking dead is a reject show at this point, pretty much. Can't believe people still watch that shit. People are probably gonna be upset now that I said that. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> the two-handed. Nice. We're gonna have more dogs to deal with too. Yeah. Please don't be upset that I roasted The Walking Dead. Uh, if you're a fan. I don't judge you. Just a tiny bit. You know, like... Bury your fists. That's how I go, in with, go on about bar fights as well. Ever get into an argument in a bar? Just parry that shit. I don't stab anyone though, I just parry them. You know, don't carry around the Nippon Steel. It's not how we do. So back to roasting The Walking Dead. You know how there are like shows that have gone on for way too long? That is one of those shows. Like... I don't know what season that shit should have ended. Uh, like probably season 5. This is... The dogs, man. The dogs. They are very, very entertaining to fight. <sighs> Somehow they manage to make them more annoying. It's because I'm using a slow weapon. Um, I don't normally go with slow weapons in Demon Souls. For exactly this reason. Uh... Maybe just for this section. Ha <laughs> ha! No! Third one. And the fucking, like, barbecuing that shit as well. Oh, they're weak to thrust. Cool. I should be using this shit all day. I mean, look at this. Oh, he does a little jump! That's adorable. Okay, so, obviously, there are damage types in this game. That's pretty much the non-implicit tutorial for damage types. Sorry, doggo. But then again, not sorry, because you're annoying as fuck. Yeah, luckily the shield mechanic exists in this game as well. As in you can stab from behind your shield. Cool. I know it's a little bit less efficient. But I'm gonna switch back to my main man, the Bastard Sword. Because that's a little bit more satisfying than some like spear stab. So what I was saying is that there are certain shows that have gone on for way too long. And the walking dead is one of them. Um get buried. I'm not, I don't think I'm ever gonna get tired of that. And there's apparently like unique ones for most of the weapons in this game. Most of the special weapons especially. Special especially. Brutal. Thank fuck this doesn't get demonetized anymore. Endlessly entertaining. How much more fun would boxing matches be if parrying was also involved? 
Not a big fan of these guys though, the redesign. I gotta be honest with you. They should have stayed... Oh yeah, you have a shit ton of poise. They should have stayed kinda menacing looking. Instead of gross. I feel like, oh yeah, okay, there's a reject here still. Damn. Only takes a couple of tries. Oh yeah, and these guys drop like no souls at all. I remember, that's like their gimmick. See, that is my dog. Knew she would get involved. It usually only takes her a little bit of time. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you and your poise. Unfair. Unfair. A little bit. Through the door. I mean, this is a Souls game, like... Of course they wouldn't fix that shit. And by that, that shit, of course, I'm talking about... Um, weapons hitting through the walls. That is a Souls game classic. Not even a Demon Souls classic, that's just like a... Souls game classic in general. See, the other versions of these guys are a little bit easier. Uh, that's in this level. Because... This is the one that's like, blocking the exit. And normally you can get behind them and do a stabby stab. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that I fucking lost my souls because the dogs, of course, killed me. Thought I could be smart and not switch back. Uh, turns out you can't be. Anyways, let's move on. That was mild mildly annoying. Thanks, camera. You had a bit of a tough time there, but you made it through. Oh, you're still alive. Well done. Note to self, one is not enough for these guys, one repost. Oh, shit. Why did I go with this weapon? This weapon sucks, man. We have a quick fix though. I don't know man. I kinda like this weapon, but it also kinda sucks. Maybe just this area. I wanna see the fucking parry animation, because we only see in the backstab, right? Oh fuck, okay. I'm gonna stop messing around here. This is gonna cost like my all my healing items. Not that it's too big of an issue normally. But still. So yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit less impressed with the uh bastard sword than I thought I would be. I seem to remember using this weapon and I don't remember it being particularly bad. But you know, who knows. Oh shit. I kinda had a feeling I wasn't gonna get that. The only reason I don't mind is you have these guys here. Especially these boys with the little sack. God, it's so good. Any of them that carry around a sack like that are guaranteed to drop upgrade materials. And the, just the dynamics of the spear are really like... Oh, hello. Where the hell did all of you come from? I'm 
whatever. Give me them chunks. Chunk A. That is a good Bruno Mars song. I have a bass cover of that somewhere. Well, not somewhere, on when I had like grand ambitions to have a separate music channel. Um, I uploaded covers there. Even this does more damage. Maybe it's just because it's faster, but damn. Stop rubbing your stomach, it's gross. These guys have like beer guts now. At least it's understandable now why they have so much poise. Nice, I got the gloves. Hey! Uh, yeah, it's here, right? Except there's treasure that I missed. I don't remember what this is. Oh, yeah, this is where you go. I'm stupid. I swear I know how these areas work. I'm not stupid, but I'm kind of am. I'm kind of am. Yeah, grammar ain't my strong suit today. There's one more thing I want to check out here. I mean... I mean... Bruh. Holy fuck. <laughs> And another one. Ouch. Damn. Two. Three. Haha. <laughs> Ouch. Oh that that one that one is less good. The parry animation is not as good as the the backstab. The backstab is I mean, the only real question is, how barbaric do we want to go? Pickaxe? Maybe the pickaxe? Hmm. I can see it working. I mean, if you want a weapon that I've never used, uh, this would be it. Because I've literally haven't, I've never touched this thing. I've used it in the other Souls games. Uh, I've used it in Dark Souls 2, where it was like pretty much regarded as the shittiest weapon in the game. Let's go with it. Listen, this is still early days. That's the good thing. I have one single weapon upgraded to plus one, so really we can do anything and everything we want to do. I can still switch it up. Um, yeah, why not? Pickaxe. Could be, could be a good one. I mean, it's actually like fairly fast too. It's not like the typical, because the, in the other games, uh, the, these weapons have a hammer moveset. Or like mace type moveset. And this way, here in this game, it almost seems more like a slashing weapon or something. Which is interesting. God, that looks so good. It's just like, it used to be like random ass fire here. Okay, let's not. 
Listen, let's not attempt something we're not confident in. Let's be happy that this shit does a lot of damage to these enemies. Because I guess it counts as thrusting damage. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay. See, I just talked about being confident and not confident in what I'm doing. There we go. Even though, again, I will say the one weakness of this thing is the repost animation. I feel like it doesn't fit 100%. The moveset is perfect for this place, though. Okay, using the Bastard Sword here would be an absolute fucking nightmare. Fuck, it's fast, too. I'm liking it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I've never touched this weapon again. Even in the original game, because I always thought it was some like shitty hammer weapon. But this is actually pretty good. And it has like a side swing, too. Damn. Jesus. This is cool. I think we have... I think we have what we want. Let's not mince words. This is it. Oh yeah, this breaks. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I missed the crystal lizard, but we'll live. Because the thing, the thing you gotta remember is that you pick up quite a lot of upgrade materials in this area, so you have to be careful with your equip burden. Especially dropping here, because this is where the steel shield is. And a shit ton of enemies. This is the test of, the true test of this weapon, this gauntlet here, that I'm gonna ignore because I'm not sure. But we do have a buff, don't we? Hell yeah. I think this is gonna work. Come on, no! Holy shit. <laughs> Brutalized. That third hit is really like overkill, even though this guy survived somehow. Like, that shit isn't necessary at all, let me tell you that. It's really kicking a man while he's already down. Look at the lighting. Look at that lighting. This thing looks to look kind of stupid. But hey, flaming lizard. How can it not look stupid? Oh, dogs. I was just about to say, before I got distracted by the pretty lighting there, I was just about to say, I swear there are more dogs here. And there are. This is... This game is doing me dirty, especially after Sekiro, like... Sekiro has the easiest dogs in the entire... Okay, I think they both fell off. Sekiro has the easiest to kill dogs in the entire franchise. And this game has the worst ones. This and fucking Bloodborne. Knowing these fuckers, they're probably coming up the stairs behind me. Man. Man. 
That only cost me like all my heals. Just go for the shortcut. Let's not push it. Let's not push it. Uh, I knew... That's a different... That's a third one. Unbelievable. Is that all of them? That has to be a, a fucking all of them. Keeping my shield up though, like at this point. At this point dying here would be... Rage quit material. Sorry that I'm like brutalizing your body here. Shit, I'm stuck. Heal, bitch. Luckily, they're stupid. Sometimes... Sometimes the AI is on your side, unintentionally. And that was one of those cases. Whatever. Yeah, that shortcut cannot come soon enough because... I think I'm gonna be overburdened. Although that's really a mechanic they could have edited out of this game, but they didn't. Let's see some water physics, boys. Wanna see what you got. Eh, okay. I've seen better water physics before. Steam physics, though, on point. Shout out to the steam physics. What am I doing? That is a lot of fucking work for... This little path. And I have almost zero souls. Yeah, the enemies here... There they are! What the hell? They're AI-like. <laughs> Interesting. They, they're AI crapped out. You just couldn't handle it. Being where they're not meant to be. It's really almost philos philosophical. Should look at the one handed moveset too a little bit more. R2 I haven't even seen. Okay, that's like the big overhead slash. But I'm like really genuinely liking this weapon. Oh man. This is. This is awesome. Now I like. Really, really, really want a Bloodborne too, because I feel like Bloodborne. Oh, you can activate this even before. Why did I think this activated along with putting out the fire? I don't know. This, like, seeing these graphics, just really made me think about having a Bloodborne game with these types of visuals, like what you could do. I mean, this is pretty much like Loran. Ailing Loran. Especially since that fucking Vati video where he talked about or he asked for concepts for Bloodborne 2. Goddamn Bloodborne juice is flowing, you know. Oh, this guy looks different. It's fucking Jimpachi Mishima or something. Cool, you can upgrade your sh my shit. 
Um, yeah. I'm committing. I am committing quality though. Mercury, which one is Mercury? Tearing. I have like zero of these, so what, what the fuck? Quality is the one that balances. I was just going standard. Yeah, f okay. Okay, roast me like that game. Yeah, I just went for it. Screw it. How the hell did this guy end up here? Ma okay. We gotta have a look. This is... It's like so much more... Um, you know, engaging, really. And again, I know, I've been like dick-sucking this game for three episodes in a row, but... There's never been a Souls game where the world was like this lived in or like this realistic, I guess. And it's just kind of awesome. Hmm, do I even need to go back? I guess technically I don't. It would be nice to have more healing, honestly. But I'm not sure if that's really what we want. Today's episode is gonna be a little bit shorter. I, I, I know I went for the long one in the last episode, but I, I'm not gonna have all like 55 minute episodes all the single time. It really just kind of how it's gonna depend on how the flow of the episode works, you know, in any given moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the I always forget that I should gesture with my left hand because of how the face cam is set up. Whatever. God this thing looks good. This is gonna be like a boss layer now. I like I got a lot of upgrade materials and I just committed. Cool. We have some shit here. I don't know. I feel like it's uh, like farming is gonna be unavoidable for healing materials. I mean, it pretty much is confirmed unavoidable in this game. Um, I am going to, of course, do that off screen. Like, I wouldn't do that to you guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. They're, they're too goofy now. Like, they're too goofy and, like, too gross at the same time. It's kind of a weird look. I'm not gonna lie. Because these guys... Shit. Um, I was gonna say these guys had the weird menacing look going instead of the gross menacing. <sighs> that is a dry ass horse. And it has not jiggle, no ragdoll physics, right? Not exactly. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm gonna have to cog block you a little bit, guys, uh, because... I'm gonna finish this area in the next episode. Um, there's still quite a bit to go, and again, I got around to recording kind of late because I was busy. Uh, and I don't want this to go up at like midnight, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Finishing this area should be a breeze, uh, and then we can move on to the rest, because like this... The clouds too. Nice. Those are some tasty clouds. Yeah. If you did enjoy this video, guys, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual, turn on post notifications. 
yeah did i say everything i think i did see you guys next time take care and peace out goodbye